World leaders are engaging in some whirlwind diplomacy, desperately trying to defuse the soaring tensions along the Ukrainian border, where it looks like Russia is ready to mount an attack at any time. Germany's chancellor holding an in-person talk with President Biden today, while French President Emmanuel Macron meeting with his Russian counterpart, Vladimir Putin, in a push for diplomacy. Lauren Blanchard in Washington with more. Monday, this video showing U.S. troops touching down in Poland. In total, 1,700 paratroopers from Fort Bragg will arrive there. President Biden continues to beef up America's presence in allies near Ukraine. On the Russian border, Moscow has built up 100,000 troops, three quarters of what they need to invade. If you look at the buildup of the forces, uh, Russia could be able uh, to actually have sufficient forces for a serious invasion. Multiple sources say the Joint Chiefs chairman has warned Congress if Russia does invade, Ukraine's capital could fall in 72 hours. We are in the window. Uh, any day now, Russia could take military action against Ukraine. If war breaks out, it will come at an enormous human cost to Ukraine. Still, the diplomacy efforts continue. New German Chancellor Olaf Scholz is meeting with President Biden. In Moscow, French President Emmanuel Macron is meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin, though the Russians say little will come of it. The situation is too complex to expect a decisive breakthrough after just one meeting. On the meetings, analysts say... This all gives advantage to Putin, in my judgment. Others argue NATO allies need to step up more and President Biden needs to make that clear. We need to know if NATO allies are actually in the fight with us. We can't help these countries more than they want to help themselves. President Biden and Chancellor Scholz will discuss the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline between Russia and Germany. Moscow has been warned it will be canceled if it invades.